since I've made a video tutorial, but I wanted to pop in today and show how I've been making these square file folder cards, which I'm completely addicted to. And I make mine with a magnetic closure, so if you can hear the wee snap when that closes, um, which is just a nice little extra. Uh, of course, you can make them without the magnetic snap if you like. This one features stamps from There She Goes Clear Stamps. This is the Seasons Greeting set. I love this vintage Santa. He's so adorable. The trees are from the same set and so is the sentiment that is on the inside of the card. So these are made using the envelope punch board, uh, which is extremely easy to find. You can find it in most craft stores and Stamping Up also have a version, which is exactly the same. It's just in Stamping Up colors. So for my card, I've started with a four and a half inch square card base. And first we're going to create the little tabs. So what you're going to do is line it up, and I'll use a little phone folder as a pointer. You're going to line up with this edge, like the far edge of, of the, uh, the punch. When you try it, it, it makes a lot of sense if you can't quite see what I'm doing. All you can do is punch. And then we're going to move the cardstock along. Now there's measurements along the side here, and you're going to move along to two and a half. That's how big I wanted my tabs. Whatever size you do will be fine. That's it. You get lots of different looks depending. You can do one tab big, one tab small. I'm doing them both the same size and having them overlap today. Um, so you just punch. Just whatever measurement you go to, just remember because you want to do the same on the other side. So then we're just going to flip the card around and do the exact same thing. Line up on this wee inside edge of the punch punch, move across to two and a half, and punch. And that's it for the punch board for now, so I'm just going to move those away. Then you're just going to take your paper trimmer, um, and what you want to do is trim away this excess edge. Now I like to go top to bottom. Line it up with the channel in your trimmer, and what I find is you can feel the trimmer sort of stop when you stop hitting cardstock and you'll often get this little sort of scrubby edge that I just get rid of with uh, my fingernail or a filing block. Same thing on the other side, get rid of this little excess piece that we don't need and you'll feel it stop, there'll be no resistance once you get to the right point and then we have the basic file folder look and what we're going to do is just bring the punch board back for a second and I'm just going to round these quick corners so you put it up in the little punch up the top here I think they call it the reverse punch and round the corners that simple I'm just going to get my sanding block and give those a bit of a clean I use my sanding block on every card as you can tell <laughs> okay so then for this card, I've left a little border um, where the pattern paper meets the cardstock. Here's another version that I did recently with Verve Stamps. That one I've completely covered the entire uh, card front, both inside and out. So, depending on the look you want, either cut your cards, your paper, pattern paper, and I'm using some pattern paper from Glitz. Um, this is the Finley collection. Either cut it to the exact same size as your card base, so four and a half, or if you want to just take a little smidge off the bottom, something like four and three eighths. And then we're just going to do the same thing. So I'm going to line this up, punch, move it along to two and a half, and that's why I say you need to just remember whichever measurement you've used. Um, so that's going to be the piece for the front of my card, which it doesn't look like it's going to line up right now, but it will. Now, for your uh, inside piece, don't forget that the tab is on the other side. So, depending on, let me just figure this out for a second. <laughs> depending on where you want the tab, you're going to flip your paper over, depending on what design you want. So, same thing. Punch, move it over to two and a half, and punch. And so when I flip, so... The, if I wanted to, that could be my front piece, but when I flip that around, that is going to be my inside piece. So we're going to do the same thing and trim away that excess. Just line it up with the channel in your trimmer. Trim. Trim. 
And then we're going to add the magnetic snaps, which is super simple. Um, I have been using these little ones from Basic Grey. Um, you get 20 pieces, so that's 10 pairs. So you can make 10 cards with this little set. Now they do come, so you'll have a positive and a negative, so you just need one of each. They do have adhesive on the back. I sometimes find it's not quite strong enough, so I um, have used sort of medium size glue dots and I'm going to use those to attach the card. So this is my front piece. So what you want to do, and you can see I've, oh, I need to trim my corners quickly. So everything matches up. Okay. So for the first piece, what you want to do is put your closure on the back of the patterned paper. Um, it doesn't matter which piece you choose, and I usually put it around about here, close to the top. And then we're just going to use adhesive. Um, I'm using Tombow, but I also use tape sometimes or red line. Just anything that sticks quite well will work for this. And then I'm going to stick that on the front of my card. And then the easiest way to get it all to line up. Sticking it together. The easiest way to get it all to line up on the inside is just to take the other magnet glue dot and just let it stick um, to the inside there and then just close and when you peel off quickly you'll have your magnet on the inside of your card and then we're just going to cover that one up with some patterned paper as well and that's it super simple I love the look and it's something a little bit special um, People will be amazed at your magnetic closure inside your card. And that's it. You just need to let your glue dry and you're ready to decorate. I'm going to have fun decorating with this one. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it yet. I've chosen the papers before <laughs> the stamps. So again, here's a wee look at one I did with Verb. This one was a little bit smaller. I think it was about a four and a quarter inch square. And the little envelope, I also made that with the envelope punch board. And again, here's my lovely Christmas card using those beautiful, there she goes, clear stamps. I've just um, accessorized, accessorized with a scalloped border and a snowflake, a bit of ribbon. Um, I love putting ribbon on these, actually. It's so easy and neat to wrap around the entire card front. So there you have it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you'll come and see me at www.thinkingstamps.com. Bye.